Hey everyone, um, <clears throat> so I wanted to do something a little different this week. Um, I'm going to attempt to um, play a couple of games with you guys watching. Um, as you'll see from the thumbnail, uh, basically um, I wanted to show you guys something around a cool little homebrew for Wolfenstein. And I don't... As you can see, I'm not, I don't play tons of, um, of homebrews just yet. I'm still getting used to my, um, what do you call it, uh, EverDrive thing. But um, yeah, some of the clever boffins over at um, <laughs> SMS Power have got uh, Wolfenstein running on the Master System. And they're doing a little bit by little bit every week. It gets a bit more added to it. And they've just, um, it's at the point now where a few people have done videos already. I thought it was a little bit early, but um, that's the guy. I think he's an Australian guy, under four hertz, I think he's called. And yeah, it's just really cool. I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. Not too small. And show you guys. So here we are, we're playing Wolfenstein. I swear to God. <laughs> On the master system. That looks pretty good. So, I don't know how they, um, it's a little bit bare. Um, he, oh, I've been shot. There we go. Let's go and get that food to pick our health back up, I think. Gosh, he shot me loads, didn't he? So, we're going to, uh, Let's have a look in here. Maybe not in there then. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly. Come on. I like the music, it's very similar to the version I played as a kid. Can't get in any of these doors. You can definitely get in them. Pressing the wrong button, I think. There you go. Completely pressing the wrong button. So let's go back out of here. We've got that food. Go in that one across the way. Right, nothing in there either. Let's try this one again. There's one. Nazis! Get them! You do have to be a bit careful with the ammo because you, you do run out. Um, I think that might be ammo there though. And let's have a look down here. Oh, there's another Nazi. Let's go and get that. Lovely. Score of 300. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's a dog! Down, boy! Heal! It's pretty cool that there's dogs in it already. Um, my life is uh, ebbing away slowly. Not really good. that good at first-person shooters, unfortunately. Ah, oh, I died! <laughs> no way. Okay, well, um, so that's the Master System version. Um, he's also doing a, a, a version for the SG-1000. And do you know what? Quite possibly, I think, um, through public demand, I think he might be doing one for the C64 as well. Um, so please go and check him out over at SMS Power. Um, there was another part of the video that I wanted to show you guys, and I, um, I'll make the screen a little bit bigger for this, because I managed to get a Wolfenstein 3D, um, and it's signed by John Romero when I saw him at Blackpool, which I'm really pleased with. It says, to Ollie, John Romero, really nice guy, and um, yeah, I did a, um, a video in, uh, when was it, last week, uh, for the um, basically the 
interview that he did so please do go and check that out and, and this is the um, I just downloaded this from the internet but I also bought a cartridge <laughs> from China Wolfenstein light so um, I put it in the machine just to check it works but that is it so let's make the screen small again And we'll turn the Master System version off and we will do a like for like comparison with the unreleased Mega Drive version. So don't go anywhere. Huh? Highly technical stuff this. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, we've got to press start, of course, haven't we? So I'm no expert. I um, I played Wolfenstein round a friend's house because he didn't have a PC when I was a kid. But he did. And we used to go around, me and my little brother. My, used to, my little brother used to tag along with me as well. And we'd go around and play this and Monkey Island. I think he pretty much only had the two games. I think, do you know what? I think we're just going to start the game. What am I doing? There we go. Uh, episode one. Looks good to me. And do you know what? For the purposes of the video, <laughs> should we go on really easy? Just so I can, just so I can do the demo. So, um, and it looks, um, on the mate, I'm really looking forward to playing this a lot more, actually. Like I said, I did um, put it in just to check it worked, because from China, you never really know what you're getting. I don't mean that in a, you know, it's just, it's, it's, um, it was one of these, it's called Ali, Ali something, might be called AliExpress, I might be making that up. And I've definitely had uh, other friends buy from there before, and they swear by it. And they get all sorts of stuff. So the dogs look a lot more animated. They would do being a 16-bit system. I don't think I can get in there. So I think there was just a dog in there waiting for us. So there's nothing in there except now a dead dog. Die. And you can see the little animations in the face to show my health at the bottom. Are moving and I don't think that was moving in the master system version was it so it's just little details like that whether or not the developer try not to waste too much ammo whether or not the developer is able to uh, program stuff like that in maybe I mean I I don't know I'm not I'm not a programmer but I do look forward to seeing how he gets on for sure so we got our health back up to 100% uh, there. I think we've been that way. And it is a bit of a maze. So I remember it wasn't a very... I remember it wasn't the longest level. Let's try this way. Nazis die try this way yeah it does look really nice doesn't it I've got to say um, I mean I think it came out on the Super Nintendo this one anyway so there was a 16 bit version available for sure but whether or not Let's get that guy. Oh, look at all this treasure. Definitely get all that treasure. Pick that up. Oh, there's another guy shooting me. 
You look at your health, like, why is my health going down? Is it a gas chamber? No, you're getting shot in the back. Five thousand. I can't get around the table. <laughs> so cool. What way do we reckon? Should we go straight on? I'm not even sure if this is... No, it's not the way we've come. That's fine then. Let's try and go that way. And there we go. <laughs> what an absolutely awesome little game on the Mega Drive. I do really enjoy the Master System 1 too. But out of the two, I think because I played this one... And the Mega Drive version is probably more in keeping with um, my memory of what it was. I think I'll probably play the Mega Drive version um, a bit more. And like I say, I picked uh, the cartridge up from uh, AliExpress. Just a few pounds. I could not believe how quick it got here. And um, yeah, I just I printed the cover off just off the internet. Um, whether or not you are lucky enough to run into... John Romero and get your copy signed or not. I hope that you do. Um, guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, then please uh, please con consider subscribing. I do try to make new videos every single week. And give me a thumbs up as well. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, um, what I'll also do in the uh, links below, I'll put a, a link to the SMS Power uh, uh, thread on, on the forum how, of how you can download the Master System version so you can have a try yourselves. Thank you ever so much, and uh, I'll catch you again soon.